jump, you know, obviously didn't play at TCU. I guess, how are you doing, you know, personally? I'm better. Um, I'll be back for the next game. You know, not being there, um, you know, to be able to play, I guess, what was it like being in that situation and what did you see from this team, um, you know, from your perspective against TCU? Um, yeah, it was a little tough not being able to go out there and play with my teammates, um, but I just – Gave energy on the bench and just, you know, coach them up when I can, could, tell them things that I saw within the game um, that I thought could help them. Um, I thought they really stepped up, you know, in the fourth quarter. Um, I thought JJ made a lot of good plays in the end, and, you know, they were able to pull it out, and I was proud of them. You know, I saw that you just got invited to a coaching uh, event, too, right? Yeah. Did, what did you take away from, I guess, TCU from that role, and I guess your you know, your future goals of getting into coaching, you know, with that uh, coming up? Yeah, um, that was a, you know, opportunity opportunity for me to be able to, you know, show my coaching skills and, you know, just give encouragement for my teammates. You know, they don't want to hear too much because, you know, within the game, but, you know, just try to, you know, tell them little pointers within the game that I see. You, what is your injury? Is it, it was my ankle, sprained ankle. something in a game practice? Practice. Or, so did you? So did you Know, like, I guess, did they prepare to play without you, or did you not really know until closer to game? I'm just kind of curious, like, how much the other players really knew, you know, that you weren't going to be able to play at TCU. Was that yeah. something that was kind of like known in advance? Or? Um, well, I didn't practice the two days before the game. I tried to do shoot around, but I wasn't, you know, up to my full percentage. So, you know, I told my teammates I wasn't going to be able to play. From JJ's perspective, I mean, you guys are so used to playing alongside each other. Yeah. What, what do you think it would be like being out there if she had to, you know, if she had been the one maybe that tweaked an ankle? Mm -hmm. How was that? And, and you mentioned that she made a lot of big plays down mm -hmm. the stretch. What was it like to see that from, like, a different vantage point? I'm sure you weren't very surprised, obviously. Oh, but. yeah. Uh, Jay did a great player. Um, I knew that she was going to be able to, you know, pull it out for us and um, make big plays. You know, I talked to her, like, right before the fourth quarter. I told her it was time to, you know, make – make some plays, make things happen, you know, be aggressive on defense. And she did that, and I was really proud of her for that. Do, do you think, I mean, if you were in that spot, obviously you'd probably have to assume a little bit mm -hmm. more of like a scoring burden and distribution kind of, you know, enhance your production. Is that fair yeah. to say? Is there something to that with their mindset, knowing like, hey, our leading scorer or our number mm -hmm. two scorer or whatever isn't going to be out here today, I've got to be that person. Yeah, um, you know, you just got to take with, you know, what, Throughout the offense, just be able to, um, you know, not force anything. Just play within the offense and, you know, make plays when, when you see things open. You played Texas a number of times, obviously. I'm, I'm a little different, a little similar. But what are the challenges that you think they present for you guys tomorrow? Um, they're a really aggressive defensive team. Um, they play full court pressure, man. And, you know, we just got to be smart with the ball. Use that, um, use their aggressiveness, you know, against them. Um, slow the game down. Not force anything. Be smart with the ball. You know, the, do they remind you of anybody else that you've played this season in that regard? Whether they like their style, their personality, anything like that. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I think they're they're on their own team. They they play really hard, and so you know it's going to be a challenge for us, but we're up for it. You know, jumping back to that uh, coaching event that you're going to be attending, I guess obviously pretty elite company, only a, a certain number of people. I guess what was the process? involved with that and I guess what uh, are your hopes from that? Yeah, um, I had to be nominated um, by my coach and, you know, sent in a, a letter why I want to be a part of the program and my resume and shoot a video on why I wanted to be in the program. And, you know, I'm just grateful to, for the opportunity to be a part of that. Um, it's part of an elite company, like you said, and, you know, I'm just looking to get whatever I can out of it. Have you, is that always something you've, like, wanted to do or was that something you kind of discovered here or what I mean how long have you known that coaching was I guess a big interest of yours um I think in high school when I really started you know getting offers and stuff like that really playing basketball I'm like I think this is something I want to continue even after I'm playing does it help in a weird way that you've seen like a couple different perspectives here too oh, obviously yes. you know with Mike and now mm -hmm. with Dawn you've got yeah. Different voices, different coaching staffs, and, and a lot of different philosophies. So right. it seems like you've kind of seen you know both ends of the spectrum. Is mm -hmm. that fair to say? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I could be able to use those, you know, bits and pieces from the different coaches that I've been a part of, and just be able to make it into my own type of coaching. Do you know anybody else that's going to be attending that or 
leading that um, clinic or anything like that? I do. I know two other people. Um, somebody from, I'm not sure what school she went, I think Dartmouth. Um, we went to the seminar in the, um, the summer league this past summer together. And I think um, somebody from Texas Tech is going to be there. 